need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pim and your I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck with my clip. I need a 30 for 30. All right, we gonna end this motherfucker like we always do. Showing love and shouting out. T, who you shouting out, dog? Man, I saw some on the internet the other day. Of course, you know, we always all attached to our cell phones and everything. But man, look, I saw a name pop up and it warmed my spirit. Teaspoon, man. Teresa Weatherspoon is coaching up in the New Orleans Pelican organization. Mm -hmm. And it did something to me, man. I remember Teaspoon back in the day with the New York Liberty WNBA. Shout out. And she, she got the ya ya. She got the right. J. You know, right. and I'm sitting there, man, they were talking about her and J Zion Williamson's relationship. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn. Man, that's a name I ain't seen in a long time. Because I, I really, honestly, you know, you, you you follow WNBA players. I do. I know for sure I do. And I, I try to keep up with what they do in the league, you know, where they going, who they with, and whatever. And, man, just to see them talk about during the New Orleans and New York Knicks game, here's Therese Redspoon coaching up Zion Williamson, who many will consider the next wave of superstar. In the NBA, and they were talking about her teaching him how to uh work on his mid range pull up because that was her bag now. You know, in the years of the early WNBA, where she was a uh, kind of like an arch nemesis to the Houston Comets mm -hmm. with uh Tina Thompson and uh, uh Cynthia Swoops. Cooper, Cheryl Swoops, yeah, you know, you know, so 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 it was like, man, you know. They still here. They still around. They still relevant to the game, and they they give an insight to young men, just young basketball players. They ain't gotta be men, women. It's just young basketball players, mm -hmm. and what and 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 it just it just goes to show how uh, basketball knowledge is not man and woman. It's there's no like there's not like a book for women and a book for men, right? Right there's just this book of knowledge right that can be taught on all levels right. and yeah granted men can be physically more can be physically more dominant than women okay there's no disagreement there but the education the the the, the thinking the the teaching the, that type of stuff man is important to what you know what is what is what is really important today and it just it really did man I, I promise man like like when i saw that man i just got so overjoyed because i remember teaspoon back in the day and i remember how she got down and how she played the game and i really respect her because i kind of liken her to mark jackson mm -hmm. you know with the with the whole handle and the ability to pass and that court vision and that ability to score and stuff like that i kind of thought about her like mark jackson in my in a sense mm -hmm. But it was just great to see that she is on a bench working with young NBA talent, not WNBA talent, but NBA talent and, and, and impart knowledge into these guys to make them better. And we've seen it with Becky Hammond and others. And it's just, it's just great to me to see that happen. So I want to shout out the Pelicans organization for making, for, for bringing her own and bringing her own because she is knowledgeable, not because she's a female, but because she's knowledgeable. She understands basketball mm -hmm. and just teaspoon shout out to her for just having the gumption to just stick around and fight. And I ain't gonna say fight, but really just showing that, Hey, look, it don't matter male or female. I know this game. I know ball. And that's, that's what's important in, in this day and age is, is just showing that we know ball. We know what's, what's important. We know how to teach the game and, Respect me for who I am and my my ability as a mentor to the to the younger. So I, I appreciate it, man. I must shout out to her, man. No doubt, no doubt. Shout out, shout out. That's that's big because I always looked at it and said, "Shit, why can men coach women, but women can't coach men?" No doubt. You no, know, and we know that's bullshit. If a woman can run these damn household, 
They can run. Why the fuck can they teach you how to play some basketball? So that's a fact. That's so a fact. Shout bro. out, shout that's out, fact. shout out. But uh, my shout out is somber. Uh, I hate to have to do this shout out, but uh, I want to send a shout out to Scotty Pippen, man. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know this man, has lost his oldest son, uh, Antron, his first born son. Yeah. So I want to just send a shout out to Pip uh, and his family. Uh, I think probably everybody that's been on this podcast, maybe other than my brother Kiki, who always would go opposite or whatever I do, but uh, pretty much everybody else was a childhood Bulls fan. Yeah, and yeah, most of that is because of Michael Jordan. I know we mean most of that is Michael Jordan, but uh, Scotty Pippen was right there. You know what I'm saying? I told for my all-time favorite players, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Scotty Pippen in that order. And so with seeing that last dance doc and seeing that that episode that really focused on Pip, yeah. opened my eyes to some shit that I really didn't know about. You know, we were children. So yeah. I didn't know about the shit with his father uh, being sick like that. I didn't know about the shit with his uh, brother you know, and, and all the responsibilities Pip ended up with. I didn't know Pip was in a bad contract and I was a child again. But, you know, I know he caught a lot of flack for the bad contract, but hell, he had a lot of people depending on him. Yeah, he did. He did. You know what I'm saying? So this man has experienced a lot of pain already with having that weight on him. And now to to, to lose your, your firstborn child, bro, that... It's tough. Uh, I can't imagine how that feels because you know and it's called empathy you know what I'm saying so that's why I really wanted to shout Pip out uh, you know God bless him and his family you know and God bless any any of your viewers that experience any kind of trauma like that man you know what I'm talking about yeah. uh, you know Pip inspired a lot of people uh, in his play People can go back on YouTube, watch the games. You know, uh, his play still. Hashtag right? watch the game. Watch the motherfucking games, people. Uh, that's that just that just trash. You know, to lose a child. You know, so I, I I'll be honest now. I I saw the how I saw the the um the caption and everything. I just I really didn't deep dive. But did they say what he died from? I I really don't know. I honestly, I don't know now. Now I know Pip mentioned in his in his comments on on twitter he said somebody's child having asthma and without that he would have gone to the league other than that i don't know what he passed from i i really just looked at pip's comment his tweet about it hmm. so i don't know if it was asthma related or not i i, I don't know i know his uh, youngest son is had ended the draft yeah you know, he you get, know of course he got the youngest got son that's hooping and got carrying, got carrying on the legacy yeah so you know and uh, I know in some of our Michael Jordan debates, I didn't told you motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, some truth about Pip, you know what I'm saying. But my my brothers checked me one episode, and they were right when they called him and Mike the best duo ever. Because now with me going back and watching the games, even though Pip might not be as good as either one in the Kobe Shaq dynamic or either one in the LeBron Dwayne, uh, Dwayne Wade dynamic, uh. But when you put these motherfuckers together, oh, that's yeah. what they were that's what they were trying to get me to understand tonight. They fit together. They fit. They, they fit together. So people can learn a lot from Pip in terms of, you know, working hard and, and, and fitting, knowing your role and being a motherfucker in that role. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's done. And his biggest role has been the man of his family. He's the finance for his family. Mm -hmm. uh, a large family. That has depended on him, and it's a family that's been full of tragedy. So, yep. I want to say shout out to Pip, shout out to his family. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to anybody else that's dealing with that kind of pain. Yeah. But uh, we appreciate y'all for fucking with us, America. Make sure you follow us across all social media platforms. That's on Facebook. Put it on some Instagram. Put it on some. That's on Twitter. P I O S underscore one hundred. Uh, make sure you share the content. Uh, cause again, we're growing with. Trying no, to be, no, no, we no, will no. be. You being humble. Okay. Let me tell them like this here. Okay, go ahead. We, we do this. <laughs> can I tell them like that right there? We you can do tell this. them like that. You can tell them. We like do this. this. We nice right. with this. All right. So 
Don't get it twisted. You know, we, we have our opinions, and opinions is what makes the barbershops pop, what makes your workplace pop. You know, I mean, you know, you get all that. But we we do this. Right. At the end of the day, we do this. So respect it. It is what it is. Yeah, and people vibing with us, people love what we say. Hey, at the end of the day, though, we ain't just talking about what we talking about. We know what we know. Like, you bring your Jordan project into the mix. The people don't even want to know what it is when it comes to that Jordan project. If you brought the Jordan project out in a wave, it, it it's game changer. It's ball game. Right. That's time you took to just study and understand the Mike Jordan career. Yeah, it's out. So, so I'm just saying, you know. So again, I mean, I know, I know you're trying to, you know, you're trying to get the followers, you're trying to get the viewers, you're trying to get people to just latch on. I'm just gonna tell them like this: we do this, <laughs> right? We do it. No, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Well, y'all keep fucking with us then, cause. Uh, without child, we really ain't got shit. You know what I'm talking? We just some motherfuckers talking to some microphones. So we no appreciate doubt. y'all fucking with us. Make sure you go visit statementtsllc.com. That's statement tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement. Get your shirt. Get your motherfucking shirt, man. Keep fucking with us. As always, one. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's StatementTees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.